And now it's the time that my daughter has been waiting for. She loves wolves, and I've been promising her wolves in this scene. And they're going to be just here uh, having their lunch. So let's start off bringing in the assets that we need for this. Uh, so we need Animal Pack Deluxe from Jan Pack. This is an absolute bargain of an asset. Five dollars for 26 different animals, all with animations, and they look really good. Way, way more than five dollars. Just buy it. This guy deserves your money, or this girl deserves your money. Um, he or she also has Animal Packs Deluxe at two. Underwater Life Deluxe, Dinosaurs, and lots of other stuff. Just buy their stuff. So, here we are. Um, we need a bunch of wolves, a pack of wolves. My daughter says I should have six wolves. And I need some dinner, which will be a deer. So, we'll go to my Animal Packs Deluxe. We'll go into Prefabs. We will find the wolf, which is right here. And we'll drag that wolf in then we will find the deer here is the deer i want the female deer so put the deer in there okay so the deer is going to be lunch and uh, the wolf is going to be eating i'm only going to do the first wolf here because uh, the two alpha wolves are essentially going to be the same um and then i'll uh, i'll add in the others in a separate session so Create an empty object for wolves, and inside of that empty object, we are going to drag our deer and our wolf. Our deer, because it's dinner, let's make that clear by calling it dinner. Dinner, deer. Dinner, 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 dinner deer. Sorry if you don't understand that cultural reference, but there you go. Uh, and this will be the wolf male alpha. And my daughter reliably informs me that this wolf should be a bit bigger than the others. So maybe 1.2. Okay. And the deer, uh, I happen to know with this deer, when it's dead, it falls over onto its right left side so i want it facing this way um, my wolf i want to turn towards the deer and drag the wolf over to where the deer is going to fall okay so now the animations that you get with these um this the, there are good animations but the controller is very limited it basically just sets up the different animations and it will therefore play the default animation on a loop so we will create an animation controller so we'll do that in my stuff let's create a folder for um I think what I'll do is I'll create a folder for Animal Pack Deluxe because I think these things will be reusable outside of this. And then we're going to create an animation controller for a wolf eating. Okay, and then we want the wolf and eating animation. She's over here. Open up my animation controller. And the wolf is down at the bottom here. Wolf eat. Drag that in. That's the default. We want that to be on a loop. So I'm actually going to do it from within here to create an artificial loop there. The reason being I'll probably put some idols in between each mouthful in a short while. So we also want the deer to die and to therefore be lying on the floor by the time the camera gets here so animation controller put it in the wrong place but i'll copy it across in a minute deer die and let's drag that into the right spot then we find our deer die drop that in there okay good doesn't need to loop because it'll be dead all right let's have a look at what those two do 
Oh, I didn't assign the animation controllers to those characters. So we must do that. Okay, wolf eating. Dinner, dear. Dear, die. Okay, let's try that. Okay, so we just need to adjust this a little. So I think that will be sufficient for the first alpha. But we need a female alpha now. So we need to go to our timeline now, we'll go to our director and we will activate both of these characters as we fly by them. So this is going to be... Hello. Hello. I've done the two alphas. Yes. All right. Oh, please. So I'm just going to enable them and then you can tell me whether I've done it right or not. Okay. All right. Okay. So um, what do I need to do? I need to drag an activation track for each of these wolves and for the deer. This is a little overkill, really, animating to die, but um, there you go. Track group. Let's put these together and call this track group Wolf Pack 1. Whoops. Wolf Pack 1. Now, it doesn't really matter when I start these, other than from a performance reason. Um, in that uh, they will uh, to move when you snap in together like this you just yeah, hold control and you can move it to a different place um what i was going to say is it doesn't really matter when i activate these because um they'll be active constantly they don't they don't move around or anything so i can just set them off that does have performance implications so let's hit play and see what those three look like okay we're coming around to the wolves let's see what they look like oh i'm starting them too late we need to start them at around about 3, 7.50. Let's move to the scene view on the top because then we'll be able to see them. There they are. So they are animating at different times. That was what we were after. Go into the timeline when the computers come back and I need to move all three of these to about here. That's long before um, we get there. So let's hit play again. The wolves are there. They are animating. The camera is going to look at slightly the wrong place because I forgot to move the targets. But that's okay. We need to go a bit slower and we need the camera to be pointing at the wolves, not at a separate place from the wolves. So let's sort that out. So this is what it looks like once we've sorted that out and added a few more details into the scene. Looking pretty good. And it does have the seal of approval from my daughter. So that's good enough for me. Next up, we're going to be adding in the rest of this pack of wolves. So, see you soon.